Let's continue talking about women in the Quran, talking about Sarah, the wife of Prophet Ibrahim a.s. She was known to be a woman of extreme beauty, and after being married to Prophet Ibrahim for a few years, they haven't been able to have a child, and she feels guilty about this even though her husband doesn't complain, so she suggests that he marries their Egyptian servant named Hagar. In the Quran, in Surah Hud, verses specifically 79 and 72, angels come to Prophet Abraham and to Sarah, basically telling them, we give you glad tidings of the birth of Ishaq and then after him, Yaqub or Jacob. At this point in time, Hagar has already given birth to Prophet Ismael. So she basically is like, oh my, how can I have a child in this old age? And my husband here is an old man. This is truly an astonishing thing. This is verse 72. Verse 73, the angels respond and say, are you astonished by Allah's decree? May Allah's mercy and blessings be upon you. O people of this house, indeed he is praiseworthy, all glorious. Reading from this book, Women in the Quran, it says, God gifted Sarah the much-wanted child that she despaired of having one day, and through this child granted her the permanence of her name through a long and noble lineage made up of prophets and messengers. Her story is truly inspirational because a lot of women nowadays, they want children, they may not be married yet, or they're married and they just haven't been able to get pregnant. And this story is truly an example of the mercy and the blessings, the provision that Allah will give us. We just have to be patient for it and know that maybe it's not going to happen in this life, but it will happen in the next. And Allah can make a person pregnant no matter how old they are because he says be and it is.